Fill in the conversation, mastering English with role plays and simulations. Hello, language enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into an exciting way to boost your conversational English skills. We're focusing on role plays and simulations, a key tool for improving your conversational fluency and comfort with using fillers in English. You're about to learn how to make your English conversation sound more natural and spontaneous. Let's get started. Role plays and simulations are fun, interactive ways to practice real-life situations. In a role play, you pretend to be someone else in a specific context. In a simulation, you practice a real-world situation as yourself. These activities help you use English in practical, realistic settings, making it easier to remember and use the language naturally. They're great for practicing using fillers, those little words or phrases we often use while thinking about what to say next. Fillers include words like, ah, um, you know, I mean, and so on. To set up a role play or simulation, first decide on a scenario. This could be ordering food at a restaurant, discussing a project at work, or any situation where you might use English conversationally. Assign roles if needed, and decide on the general flow of the conversation. Don't script it word for word. The goal is to practice spontaneous conversation. During your role play or simulation, focus on using fillers in your conversation. It might feel strange at first, but remember, native English speakers use fillers all the time. It's okay to say, um while you think of your next word, or, you know, to make sure the other person is following along. These phrases can help your conversation flow more naturally, even if you need to pause and think. Let's look at some examples. Role play, ordering at a restaurant. You, ah, uh, I'll have the um spaghetti, please. Server, sure, would you like anything to drink? You. Hmm, let me think do you have any, um, fruit juices? Simulation. Discussing a project at work. You. So, I think, um, our next step should be, ah, uh, market research. Colleague. That sounds like a good idea. Do you have any specific methods in mind? You. Well, I was thinking, you know, we could start with, um, an online survey. Remember, the goal is not to fill every sentence with filler words, but to use them as you naturally think and converse. That's all for today's lesson on using fillers in English conversation through role plays and simulations. I hope you found this video helpful and engaging. Try out these activities, and don't be afraid to use fillers to make your English sound more natural. Remember, the goal is to communicate, not to be perfect. Keep practicing, and you'll continue to improve. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.